Tons of new Xbox games news today, details on Avowed, Compulsion Games, and could a new Killer Instinct be on the way? Let's talk about it. Hey guys, Ryan Camp here with Camp Gaming with a new Xbox video. Thank you so much for being here today. Lots of new Xbox rumors and potential leaks to dive into today, so let's get right to it. First up is Obsidian's Avowed. Last week, Windows Central's Jez Corden revealed that he has actually seen the upcoming RPG firsthand and he shared some details in an article and a few more details on the Xbox Two podcast. In his article, Jez states that he has learned details from trusted and proven sources familiar with Microsoft's plans for the future. First, we detailed Contraband, previously known as Project Typhoon. Then we detailed Project Dragon, which looks to be an online RPG from the developers of Hitman, IO Interactive. We also recently offered some details on NXIL's Project Cobalt, which is a steampunk-style FPS RPG, alongside Project Indus, which we believe is a 4X strategy game from the team behind Ashes of Singularity. Man, that is a lot of leaks and code names. But specifically speaking about Avowed, Jez states that the game is moving through pre-production and into a playable alpha state. So we are close to having an early working version of the game. But he also says that the footage he's seen could be old and the game could be a bit further along. Much like the trailer, the game is a first-person RPG set in the Pillars of Eternity universe and looks to be built on an improved and enhanced version of the same engine used to create Obsidian's Outer Worlds. Jez claims that the game features deep RPG exploration and narrative systems, multiple class playstyles, and borrows from Skyrim's two-handed combat system, where you could potentially wield two daggers and be a stealthy rogue, dive into archery with a two-handed bow, use a combination of swords and magic, or go full two-handed magic, which is required to wield some of the game's more potent spells and abilities. He also states that he's not sure if the game will be a more focused affair like The Outer Worlds or be a sprawling open world like its obvious comparable title, Skyrim. As a huge Skyrim fan myself, ever since I saw the trailer for Avowed, it has been one of my most anticipated games. And to hear that it might be a smaller, less open experience honestly has me a little bit worried. Comparisons with Skyrim and this game are going to be unavoidable, and I personally feel like if it comes up short in scale compared to Skyrim, people like myself may be a bit disappointed. But there is a rumor that Avowed may be shown at this year's Game Awards in December, so let's hope we get to see a little bit more very soon. I don't want to give all of the details of Jez's article away, but if you are interested in hearing a bit more of Jez's early impressions of Avowed, be sure to go support him by reading his articles on Windows Central or check him out on the latest Xbox 2 podcast. I'll add links to the description below. Up next, we have some details on Xbox First Party Studio Compulsion Games' newest project, directly from the developer in an interview with Xbox Squad. The game's community developer, Naya Hodges, so sorry if I butchered that pronunciation, says that development on the game began in 2019 and the project is in full swing. Not many details can be gleaned from the article, but there are some interesting tidbits such as that the team has doubled its workforce since joining the Xbox brand and that they've given themselves time to learn since they released their previous game, We Happy Few, which received a mixed reception at best. I played a few hours of We Happy Few and while I found it to be very promising, it ultimately fell a bit flat for me. Once the game opened up and you started to see more of the procedurally generated stuff, it got a bit messy but it sounds like the studio has decided to go for a more narrative approach, which I thought was the strongest part of We Happy Few. I think if that game had stuck to being a strictly narrative story heavy experience, it would have been a much bigger hit. And it sounds like Compulsion feels that way too, as the developer confirms that their new game will be a single player narrative third person action adventure game. I really think this studio has a lot of creativity and potential, and We Happy Few reminded me a bit of Bioshock back when I played it. So I'm definitely excited to see what this studio can do with a bigger staff and the full backing of Microsoft. Well, come on then, finish up. Oh. 
And last but certainly not least, we have some potential news on a follow-up to the Killer Instinct reboot on Xbox. Rumors have been circling for a while now that Xbox was interested in continuing the Killer Instinct franchise, but they haven't been able to find a developer to take the reins. Fighting games are a bit of a unique bag, and while I'm not a developer, I could imagine creating a good and compelling fighting game can't be the easiest of tasks. But on the latest episode of the Xbox Era podcast, podcast co-founder Nick Baker stated that he has heard that a new Killer Instinct game is in active development but he doesn't know which studio is working on the game. This goes against known insider Jez Corden, who says that he doesn't believe Microsoft has been able to find a studio that is a good fit to continue the franchise. So we have to take this rumor with a bit of salt for the moment. I'd personally love to see Killer Instinct make a return with a more robust story mode than what was eventually released in the reboot. I really sucked at the last game and found it to be quite difficult, but I loved unlocking the various costumes and characters in the game. The reboot also felt a bit double A if I'm being honest, and I would love to see someone take it to the next level and make it a true triple A experience on the Xbox platform. And that's not even all of the Xbox rumors running around currently, but I want to wait a bit for something a little bit more substantial before we dive into those on another video. So which of these rumors has you most excited? Avowed, Compulsion Games, or are you more excited for a follow-up to the Killer Instinct reboot? Let me know in the comments below. That's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe so more people can see it. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll be notified about my newest videos. Thanks for exploring the wonderful world of video games with me. I am Ryan, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.